Hey guys, Falcon Pro, John Pilcher here. We're uh, on Grand Lake, it's the middle of November, the, the fall turnover. We're gonna be fishing the square bill technique and I'm gonna show you where I like to fish it, how and why it's a great technique this time of year. Well, we're here on Grand Lake in the middle of November. It's fall. The, we're kind of right in the middle of the fall turnover where the lake's turning over. And the water's, water's in the low 60s. Typically this time of year I like to fish in the, uh, usually where there's water coming in, like the backs of creeks or if there's like last night there was a recent rain, so any kind of runoff in the backs of pockets where the water's gonna have more oxygen in the water, because the, uh, it, it kind of gets tough this time of year when the lake turns over. And I'm usually focusing more on the steep rocky banks toward the backs of coves and creeks and pockets. Or I'll, I'll be uh, typically fishing up toward the rivers and the upper end of the of the lake, so. This right here, we're coming up on a bluff end, so. I'm sitting in 10 foot of water. This is back toward the creek right here. I'm sitting in 10, but it just, the bluff kind of runs on out and it's real shallow. The point kind of runs out shallow. There's kind of a drop out here, but. This time of year when the water gets down in the low 60s to upper 50s, I mean, they start migrating to these steeper banks, steeper rocky banks. Typically toward the backs of stuff where there's more fresher water. Feels like a little bitty one. Yeah, he's little. But that's a sign. I mean, we may uh, change to a brown crawdad because the water's cleaner. Got more around some docks on this steeper. It's more of a main steeper creek bank than the pockets, so. I just missed a bite and cut this uh, Grand Lake Giant right there, but that is a sign, so maybe we're going to figure something out here. I like cranking with the 7-2 uh, swim jig rod. It's like a 5 power, it's a medium heavy, but it has a soft tip, and it's got more of a parabolic bend, like it bends way down into the rod. For the so the, to play them better on the treble hook baits, I use them for square billing. I use them for spinner baits. I can use them on a buzz bait with braid. I can throw light swim jigs or anything about half ounce and lighter with it. It's just a great all-around rod. Shad, they're they're mig they migrate back here in the backs of these creeks. I think because it has better oxygen content from the lake turning over. That and then you have rain flow and fresh water coming in all the time. So I think the shad migrate. I mean, people think they migrate back in here just because the water gets colder, but I think they're migrating back in here just because the water clear. I mean, the water oxygen's better, but and they'll tend to. You can really condense them down when it gets this cold. They'll get on these steep rocky banks. I mean, they're usually more congregated in an area if you find them. Oh, there's one. Feels like a decent one. Cut it rod bends parabolic. Go Kentucky! <laughs> Fish are starting to move up finally. The sun's probably bringing them up. I, uh, this water's cleaner than I expected. We're still in the back of a creek. I thought I went to a more natural, a more natural color because of the, it's got me lassoed here. More natural color because of the water color. So these are fat little Kentucky on the 7-2 Kara swim jig rod. Oh, there's one. Not sure how big he is. 
Call it brown curl square boo. Oh, barely hit. It's probably a keeper. Seems like they're getting on these bluffy, uh, steeper banks, but steeper banks, but it seems like they're more toward the back of the creek. And he's a decent little chunk. Keeper. Starting to bite though. I think the sun's helping them move up on. I think that sun's heating that rock up. This is like a straight bluff. It's 20 foot deep, but that point kind of flattens out right there. Almost makes a transition. It kind of gets a little more broken up rock. More straight rock here, but I think during the, when the water temps are getting in the low 60s, around the high 50s, you can see how that rock's kind of dark. I just think the sun kind of heats it up and they kind of get up there later in the day when the sun's up. But might be getting on a pattern here. Dang, that might be a better fish right there. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's why I like that. Kara swim jig rod. Oh! Kara swim jig rod right there. A little more backbone. Still got the parabolic to where they don't throw it. A little softer tip. Oh man, he got me. That's finally a Grand Lake bass right there. It's a good one. He uh, come off that, the transitions right there from bluff rock to gravel. And there's a little bit of wood in the water. That's why you come to Grand Lake right there. Nice fall bass, square bill crankbaits. Fun times. I guess that's a wrap today on Grand Lake. We ended up throwing us the brown crawl square bill. The water was a little bit cleaner. It seemed to be more natural for the water color. We were targeting the backs of coves and creeks with the steeper rocky banks with the bluff transitions and then we're kind of flattened up on the points. To check out their rods go to falconrods.com and uh, thanks for watching.